What's up guys, Dakota Perez here, and today I have my first ever Garuda review. I picked up the Oobdi jacket in a recent sample sale. Before we jump into that, if you haven't hit subscribe, then hit that subscribe button right now and turn on the bell notification so you get notified every single week when I upload new videos. And let's jump right in. Hey guys, popping in from a separate recording, and I just wanted to let you guys know that submissions for the acronym 3A3TS giveaway have now been closed, and next week I will have a video up announcing the winner and all different information about it. So look out for that video and back to Dakota's video this week. So since this jacket is a sample sale jacket, it wasn't a normally produced jacket. Some of the linings of the pockets are different materials and it has been worn before. So it wasn't brand new, but honestly I couldn't tell that it had been used before in any of the sample photos. So I was informed that, you know, some of the features of this might not be exactly the same or of the same quality of their um, actual made to order garments that you can purchase through their website. It would be a slightly higher tier, but other than that, the material and everything is the exact same and the silhouette. And honestly, I could not tell that it was a sample piece if I had not been told that in the DMs. Like I, I, I think that this jacket is amazing quality and it's actually very very interesting because Suhail the creator and owner of Garuda also informed me that they actually are a bespoke brand so if you haven't seen my bespoke techwear video you can check that out as well but I was talking about how it would be cool if there was one of these brands and it uh, turns out Garuda pretty much is you can pick out pieces on their website and everything is made to order so they're doing it from scratch every single time and you can also alter the measurements of these pieces if you want to do that as well so that's really really cool and and, you know, Garuda probably lands on more of the higher end in terms of prices when it comes to their pieces. But in terms of the techwear world, I would say that it is on the lower higher end in terms of their prices. It's not quite, you know, acronym prices, but the quality is definitely still there and it's very, very awesome. And those prices come from the labor and also the materials. When you're buying a lot of these um, performance materials by the yard or just from the manufacturer, they are extremely expensive compared to a normal fabric. So the Oobdi jacket is made from Scholar WB formula and this material is sort of like a shell material, but it's kind of got a soft touch to it on the outside, sort of similar to Gore-Tex Pro, I would have to say. Honestly, I have to say that this has got to be my favorite shell jacket that I have ever owned. It is super awesome. It's sort of a two-in-one jacket because it has a detachable hood that comes with it and the hood is you know, if you've seen some of my other videos, you guys know that I love those Nazgul hoods, those giant protruding hoods that like with your side vision and you're not able to uh, see anything at all when you wear them, but they offer ultimate protection and they just look super sick. You look like a Sith Lord Nazgul beast when you wear it and that hood is attachable by these snap closures that are in the collar of the jacket itself. And I have to say that the snap closures and the nylon webbing that they use on this jacket is incredibly hefty and the materials and just hardware in general is superb quality. I was very, very impressed by that. So if you're needing a hood, then you can wear the jacket with a hood and it gives you a very typical tech wear sort of tech ninja silhouette. It's got a lot of interesting sort of geometrical shapes to it, sort of brutalist look to it. And I think that the articulation in the elbows and the overall just right at waist fit and look of the hood and the arms and everything, the way that this jacket looks when you have the hood on it, very, very standard techwear look. And it's super cool and subtle, the nuances in the silhouette. Moving on from the hood and the snap closures on that, some more hardware that you get is the front zip. It's a two-way zip and it's got a water resistant um, sort of film on it. It's one of those like waterproof type of zippers that you see in a lot of these performance jackets. And honestly, out of all the pieces of hardware, I'd have to say this is my least favorite part. More so the pull tabs on the zipper. I found it slightly awkward and weird trying to zip it up initially, but it was something that I got used to. Honestly, I might attach some nylon ribbon or something like that to the zipper itself to make the pulling of the zip up easier than it was for me, just because the shape of the bottom of the jacket, if you were to grab it, you're sort of um, obstructing it in a way. I don't know really how to explain it, but there's more material 
at the bottom of the jacket past the zipper and because of that it sort of makes zipping a little bit awkward but i mean that inconvenience isn't too bad of a deal especially since i did get it on sale it was cheaper than the normal product because it is a sample piece but other than that i have no complaints the fit of the jacket is really really great i think overall it just looks phenomenal and when you wear it without the hood then it works as a blazer and you can wear it in a lot of different settings the jacket is very versatile you could definitely wear it in a more formal situation like an office or something like that and then when you wear it with the hood you can just look like a normal you know sort of tech ninja and you can use the utility out of that and wear it in a storm and be protected and i think that overall it's got a lot of bang for its buck it's definitely a very very cool looking jacket as i've said before and it's very simplistic too on top of it being you know a two for one it just overall is very uh, clean look to it and that material itself and also how the black looks on this shoulder wb formula material it's really really nice i really like the tone of black that it is the end of the sleeves also have snap closures too if you want to sort of taper the fit of the sleeves more you can wear them open or close them up for a tighter look and to keep out water more so if you need to the final features that this jacket has are these uh snap closures on the back of the jacket and you can undo those and they act as vents essentially so if you want to cool off and your back is getting kind of warm then you can open that up so since the nylon webbing is so large and thick it sort of adds like a structure to that area of the back of the jacket and I have found that in certain seats when I sit down the nylon webbing and the buttons and snaps kind of press up against my back in an uncomfortable way but that's easily fixed by adjusting myself too so it's not really that big of an issue but honestly other than those two things that I mentioned the snap closure thing and then the zipper thing being slightly awkward at first those are sort of non-issues because they're avoidable and also it's something that you don't really think about that much when you're wearing the jacket. I mentioned earlier that Garuda is a bespoke brand and everything is made in house and I was very very impressed by the construction of that knowing all of that. It's very impressive seeing that they were able to make this hand cut it, hand tape the seams, hand make everything and have all of the different pieces of a techwear fit sort of done in house. I'm very impressed. I would love to see their production facilities. I would adore to to witness that that would be very enlightening for me as someone who kind of dabbles in making their own clothes so overall i'm just very ecstatic about this jacket it's very very dope if you guys ever want a more customized tech wear look then i highly recommend going to garuda and picking up some of their pieces they have four different kits and they're four different unique styles and you can incorporate each one of the pieces from every collection together very nicely and they fit very well together. And also, I found that this jacket was able to fit with all of my other tech art pieces very nicely and seamlessly. So if you guys are more into a more customized Techwear look sort of like Enfin Leve or uh, Rosenex, then I also recommend checking out Garuda. They are on some of the higher end of the price spectrum, but honestly, I can vouch for the quality of these pieces. They are superb and comparable to Acronym and the likes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review. If you guys want to see me review more Garuda and other Techwear pieces, let me know in the comments what pieces you would like to see. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this review and also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this every single week and turn on the bell notification so you get notified when I do upload those videos on Wednesdays. And until next time, say Gucci.